Uh, this is my next video on G codes, and this one I'm going to be going over G1. All right. Okay, so what is uh, G1? Well, uh, G1 is kind of like uh, G0. Uh, it's basically linear motion, uh, but it's at a specific um, feed rate. Uh, G0 is to rapidly go from one position to another uh, in the XY coordinates. Uh, whereas G1 is to go at a specific feed rate. Uh, like if you're face milling or milling something, kind of like a power feed uh, on, a, on a manual mill. You can set it to go to a specific sp sp speed. So, um, so basically you go to the uh, MDI over here, manual data input. Uh, click on here, make sure this box comes up uh, before you start entering. Um, so the first thing we want to do is make sure that G1 is active. Uh, so I will touch, type uh, G1 and enter. Uh, so now I am in uh, G1. Um, you can actually look up here uh, all the active uh, codes. Uh, G1, it is, it's showing G1 right there, so that's active. So basically any uh, coordinates that I put in here uh, the mill will actually move at the the uh, active feed rate. Uh, the feed rate is actually active similar to G1. Um, so, say for example, I wanted to go to, let me uh, zero out uh, the three axes here, and uh, say I wanted to go to uh, X, oh, typed again, uh, X1, uh, Y1, Z, negative 1, Z, and I go over to here, and I hit enter. You can see that the uh, mill is going really, really slow. Um, that's because it's set at a lower feed rate. Uh, I think it's set to uh, uh, F2 right now, or since I'm in inches, two inches per minute. If you're in metric, then it would be uh, at least two millimeters per minute. Um, and you can see on the screen that it's going really really slow here okay so now it's all on ones but it you know went there really really slow um, okay so say I wanted to go back to uh, all Z zeros quickly um, basically I'd go down to here uh, the input and just go to G zero enter and then I would go X1 Y1 oops oh, sorry X0 Y0 and Z0 X Y Z all zeros and I hit this and it will go back to all zeros uh, the home uh, really quickly. And that's uh, G0 there. But uh, say we wanted to go to uh, say X2, Y2, and Z uh, negative 2. But uh, we wanted to go there faster, at a, at a faster rate of speed. Um, well, all we have to do is uh, first we reactivate G1. So I type G1, enter. We're now back in G1 on here. Uh, so all we have to do to go at a different speed is uh, just to type whatever speed we want to go at. Say F30. 
and hit enter. Now F30 uh, is actually the uh, active speed and you don't have to, if you want to stay at that speed you can just keep typing your XYZ's uh, and you don't have to uh, uh, change the feed rate. Uh, so we'll try that. Um, we will go to uh, say X2, Y2 and Z negative 2. And we will look at our mill and I will hit enter. So you can see that it moved at a much faster rate of speed than the last uh, G1 move, but certainly not as fast as uh, uh, G0. So that's basically how you control the uh, the speed. And if I wanted to go back to uh, to home at the same speed to show that it's actually st still active, you don't have to keep typing it. Uh, I will type in uh, x zero y zero. Oops. All right. Uh, x zero y. 0, Z, 0, X, Y, Z, and I will hit it again. And you can see that it stayed at that same uh, feed rate. And I'll go back over to the uh, screen here. And you can see it's all zeros. So that's basically how you change the feed rate. You can put it all in one line. You can type uh, if you're writing code uh, as opposed to just moving the mill around manually. Um, you know, you can type it all on one line G1, X2, Y2, Z, negative 2, and then F20. It'd be the same thing. Um, but. Uh, but it's just a way you can uh, do it manually like this. Um, you can just keep the same feed rate. Um, Alright.